Good evening. Welcome to The Huddle Report, brought to you by WCSN. I'm Rebecca Lamb. I'm Charlie Weber. Thank you for joining us. Tonight's show will be short and sweet. Exactly. With extreme heat advisories, many sports have had to cancel practices and matches. We did have the opportunity to catch up with Coach Eckley and discuss how he is feeling about his first Harbor football season. We also have highlights from last week's game, and we caught up with the captain of the Harbor tennis team to see how their season has started. The first episode of the Huddle Report starts now. This is Donald Tucker, the voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Are you looking for a new career? Would you like to become a professional truck driver? The CDL Training School in Tawnytown, Arkansas is open and accepting new students. You can earn your CDL in just three short weeks with employment after you finish school and Pam Transport will cover your tuition. You will train in the same equipment that you will drive once you earn your CDL. Plus, students also receive a $100 weekly stipend during training. Don't wait another minute. Call Pam Transport today at 888-498-2549. Welcome back. In the studio with us is Coach Eckley. Coach, you aren't new to high school football, just new to Harbor. What are some of the changes you have implemented to the program to set the Wildcats up for success? Well, we've done a few things. Uh, one of them, we've, we've put in place a leadership council. We've got about 23 or 24 guys that are part of that, and they're just involved in working on communication and, and just leadership, just trying to help guys all pulled in the same direction. So that's one of the things we've done. We've tried to emphasize a little bit more of our training in the weight room and just the expectations there. And it's been going good, but you know, no matter what we do, it still comes down to the kids and they've done a great job buying in and, and working really hard. We see the parents and admin offering support and encouragement. How important is that to the program? It's very important in, in the experience that I've had. Um, good programs it comes from you know everybody's got to pull the same direction you're talking about admin you're talking about parents you're talking about community kids and coaches all working together uh, and so it's, it's been very refreshing for me coming in especially with the rough season or two they've had lately it's been really good to have the uh, the admin support it seems like everybody's hungry to win so it's 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 been a really good situation thank you for stopping by coach Eckley we have more of the huddle report after this keep it here are you tired of being turned down for mortgage loans? Advantage One Mortgage is here for you. With over 50 years of combined experience, Advantage One Mortgage LLC are here for your needs. They also offer cash out refinancing and free pre-approval. Call Advantage One Mortgage today. Ballpark Franks got their start in 1957. Right here in the ballpark. And with the taste of 100% Angus beef, passed down from one generation to the next. They soon became a tradition everywhere, bringing on the feeling of summer in every bite. Ballpark Franks, bring on summer. Last week, the Wildcats hosted the Parkview Patriots. Take a look at some of the game highlights.
Down, Harbor Wildcats. Hey, Northwest Arkansas. Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. Arkansas's largest furniture destination, get it at Sam's. Before you hit the road, hit the team you trust at Big O Tires. Keep your vehicle in top condition with our healthy car special for only $39.95, which includes an oil change and an inspection on alignments, batteries, tires, fluids, belts, brakes, and more. Big O Tires. Harbor Tennis is in full swing despite the recent heat wave. Our Cali Stovall met with tennis team captain Connor King. Take a look. The heat is on, and it's causing some challenges for fall sports, but the Harbor tennis team is not letting that stop them. We have not had any practices. Um, we have the option to play in the gym lobby, but it's really just in the ball against the wall. And all of our games got postponed to next week or just long canceled. So it's definitely had a significant impact. With last year's large graduating class of seniors, the tennis team was left with positions to fill. This year's team is young, but not lacking in passion and love for the game. Uh, a lot of seniors ended up leaving. I think we had like, some, like 30 seniors leave last year. So we definitely had a smaller team this year, but it's very, it's very um, good to see that there's still uh, a lot of kids that are interested in tennis. For the Huddle Report and Callie Stovall, I'm Trey Rutledge. Ozarks Go from Ozarks Electric Cooperative is leading the fiber revolution. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post, from downtown to way out of town, to connect our customers to a world of blazing speed and access to absolutely everywhere. It's our customers connected. That's all for this week's show. Join us next week for more Harbor Sports. So don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on many men. Many, 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 many men. Wish they for me. Yeah, I don't cry no more. I don't look to the sky no more. Cause I got it on me. I got it on me. I got it on me. You can run up if you want. What you talking about? Look, it's possible, no me, keep two fours like I'm Kobe. As you riding or you hiding, if you sliding and you owe me, run up, catch Kofi, act 
Cut the court police. I don't make friends, yeah, I make this. Want some rape bids or some OG? This A, y'all be my trophy. Shoot first, shoot back. Oh, none, boo back. Automatic when a woo clap. Shoot first, shoot back. Oh, none, boo back. Automatic when a woo clap. Automatic have mercy on clap. me. Have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on me. Good evening and welcome to the 2023 Paper Football Championship. I'm Donald Tucker, the voice of the Harbor Wildcats. And I'm Zach Arts, voice of the Springdale Bulldogs. This is the same game we played when we were in fourth grade. You're playing at 21, touchdowns are worth six points, extra points worth one point. You'll flick to kick off. Typical rules, we've got coaches, we've got administrators, we've got everybody here. We're going to crown a champion this season. Welcome back to the 2023 Universal 20 Paper Football Championship here in Springdale, Arkansas. Round three. Round three. I'm excited. Round two was a defensive battle. It was a barn burner. And uh, Coach Tom Collins comes away, and we've got uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Smith and uh, Marty Edmondson going to face off in game number three. Marty's, uh, fun fact, his wife interned for me uh, years and years and years ago. He dropped that on me right before we uh, came here. So feeling a little old. Thanks. A little <laughs> more of a head, heads up. Coach Edmondson is the 2020 Hopscotch champion. Mm. Wow, did not know that. Okay. So, little known fact. Good to know. Good Dr. To know. Smith has her work cut out for her. <laughs> All right. Here we are for the coin toss. We'll go heads. Is that heads? <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's tails. Little trouble it's determining tails. heads or tails. It's tails. <laughs> Dr. Smith will kick off deep in her own end zone. <laughs> Is that a safety? <laughs> Out to the 20s. And Talk it's to a slow look. The nerves, the nerves will get you. Oh, oh, oh turns smart. It over. I chose. Very so smart. Nerves a I very, very big part of this. Yeah. Marty knows if he wins this, he gets fired. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. That's a very smart strategy. And I notice he's left-handed, but he's playing right. Touchdown. 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 That is touchdown. Boom. Dr. Smith. Yeah. Right off the bat. This may be short. Mercy rule. Close your eyes. Yeah. Oh, oh outside oh, kick, so no good. Score no. six nothing. So now I kick off. Now Marty. Oh, that's oh, bad. Deep in the zone. Ends you up. can tell he's hesitant. He's playing a conservative he's approach to this. He likes cash and paychecks. Yeah, who doesn't? Ooh. Just to the warning track. Yeah, touchdown. touchdown. Is flirting with fire. Uh, yep. Didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Way to flub up the kick. Genius. Six six our score. This is it's getting a little nerve wracking. Oh. oh that was close. Do that right. Oh my. Look at that. Oh. Great special teams play by Coach <laughs> Edmondson. You could tell the folks that uh, that didn't pay attention in class, like us. Yeah. Uh, they're good at paper football. They're oh. really good. Oh, that is just short on the one yard line. Man. Back and forth. This, this battle's is intense. Touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> all right, an all important extra point all right. here. Deep pass. You got it. Dr. Smith with a touchdown. Oh. Shanks oh, wait, the extra point. 12-6 right. our score. Looks like special teams is going to be an important factor. Can you go for two? Yeah. No, I don't. Marty touchdown. Right he's, not, he's not putting up. 12-12 <laughs> <Six, laughs> uh, 12, 12, 12 our score. Again, all important extra point here. Have they made one yet? That not yet. <gasps> oh, oh, there it is. There it and is. I lost my job. Marty there it is. looking very nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Just checked his bank statement. See how long he can go. Refreshing his resume. <laughs> Dr. Smith comes up short, but look at the long game. Into the eight. Back and forth. Touchdown. Touchdown. Makes it 18-13. Is that right? Yeah, I think oh, it's with easy. a different strategy oh, yeah, here. Right yeah. I like this. Oh. Uh, What's the call? I don't believe. Oh, it's, no, it's good. good. It okay. is good. It okay. is now nine. Everybody knows who signs the checks. <laughs> that's right. 1913. <laughs> oh, Touchdown. That's touchdown. a stage five clinger right there. That was barely <laughs> on the table. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, under the goal. That's an interesting approach. All right. Tied at 19. Yes. Next score wins. Next Here score we go. wins. Come on. Oh. 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 
Marty's got to be careful yeah, here. Yeah, he's trying to throw it off the table. Yeah. Oh, oh it's it's in. That is genius by Coach Dr. Edmondson. Smith with the win. Should be moving on. Winner, chicken Face the winner of our next match. Right. Uh, Congratulations. Keith Bimple and Brian Dugan. <laughs> Bimple and Dugan yeah. coming up next, folks. Don't go anywhere. We've got uh, Lakeside's Brian Dugan and the new athletics director here in Springdale certainly questioning some career choices Absolutely. since he is now, uh, he could have been coaching football this summer, instead nope. he's playing paper football. Yep, took the uh, took the high road there, now he's doing paper football. Yeah. I try it. Looks happy about it though. They've, these two have been kind of jawing before before this started. Brian, I'm sure, Just is about to get me, fired. Brian, yeah, he's, that's not a great, great strategy for Dugan. I'm looking forward to that performance review. Well, here we go with All the point right. toss. All right, heads, your ball. All right. I don't believe that was heads. <laughs> Dugan already started with the. Oh! I feel like Coach Fimple yeah. has that's played that's this a, game before. Enough. There you go. Great strategy. He's our touchdown, Fimple. Now, this is a difference in strategy here: the stand versus the sit approach. Yeah, it is different. Extra point on the way. Oh, over. oh it did hop it did over. Hop that over. hopped over. That's it's good. good. Wow. That is good. Points. Seven not nothing. Good Fimple. Points. Not very good looking, but very effective. I don't know how to do it. Oh, Dugan with the onside kick. It's an interesting strategy. Fimple coming in inside the red zone. Yeah, we're going to have to talk to Fimple afterwards because I feel like he's done this before. Yeah. A lot of time and detention know. practicing paper football. Back and forth. Look at the oh. defense a struggle it is, here. It is tough. Down to the two yard oh. line. Oh! Off. Oh. Oh, change of position. Kick it off, man. Kick off. There's the kick. It's a balance. You can see there. he's setting it up. He's, he's certainly done this There's before. There's a strategy to this. Oh! oh. <laughs> On the kickoff. 120 yard touchdown <laughs> from Coach Fimple. All now right. he sits for the extra point. And, and again, through. over. This Look bouncing strategy. This squib kick, oh, extra go. point right, that's, that's crazy. You can tell that they play paper football different in the southern part of the state. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> Such oh, interesting. Yeah. Dugan's rattled. Fimple, yeah, I'm rattled. Completely rattled. Dugan yeah, likes his job. Right. That's what it boils down what to. What we're finding yeah. here is there are different ways in the part, in this great state of Arkansas to play paper football. Oh, yeah. It's detention, not is diff detention is different in the south. It is. <sighs> no. No. Bimple for no. the win no. here. Here it comes. Yeah. Oh! Comes up short. Warning track power. Oh. Touchdown, Dugan! Oh, now Dugan's gone hat backwards. Okay. Over the top. Here it goes. Onside oh, kick. Oh. Strike one. Oh, get nervous that does, Don't be shaky. Get a mulligan. Don't be shaky. Wind's blowing. Oh, gosh. I, 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 that, that was no good. I think he drew blood. I think he did. <laughs> in the neck. Uh, his neck was off to the side. We're I told you this game was intense this. before. Really is. I had no idea there was going to be bloodshed. I did not. <laughs> so now we've got a 14-6 game. 14-6. Look at the intensity. I know. Oh, man. Oh. Does Dugan know he's playing his boss? He does not. Someone <laughs> someone needs to go in and tell him and get in his headset. Oh, I see. Bro. Okay. All right. Bam. Get it. Oh, Just look short. at that thing. Nice Dropped in short. the coffin corner. Here we go. There you go. Oh, Touchdown, nice. Dugan. Makes it 14 to Dugan, a little bit of a sandbagger. He started off slow, coming in strong. <laughs> oh, gosh. That one is no good as well. Embedded in Fimple's forehead. 14 to 12. Oh, God. Fimple. Gonna lose. Fimple spends a lot of time on the off. Yeah, he does. He, he lines it up like oh. a cut. Oh, oh gosh. Now. track power. Here we go. Touch it. Oh, oh it comes up short. Comes up short. <laughs> you can't, man. You got a chance. A chance right here. That's exactly what I would do. Oh, oh my gosh, he's down. Dugan. Somebody oh, risking his no. entire career. Cue him. He's playing the boss. <laughs> 
Getting shaky. This is an imp He's he over better. two. That oh. one is good, making it 19 14. Oh. 19. Next score could win. Had a chance, Look man. Look at the intensity on Coach Pimple. Oh! No, he, he returned that kickoff, and it's like the air went out of the building. I know. <laughs> Forgot to put some backspin on that kickoff. Bam. There you go. Oh, here we go. Here Dude, he the 40. This For is a 60 yard attempt. No. Oh, he comes up short. Clawed out. Oh. Clawed oh, out. The defense is rising up. Oh! Just no, short. Just, just short. No, I see green. I, I see green. You get the card out. <laughs> You're colorblind. There's no way you saw green. There's green, and that oh. one. Goes oh, wow. Dugan forgets the brakes. Oh, there it is. That's going to roll. On the 20, right <laughs> at the. It. There it is! Touchdown, Ball Fipple! Game. Ball game. Got to make nope, no, no, I, I spoke too soon. He's yeah. got to make the extra point now. Presumptuous. You're psychic. Dugan <laughs> executing the. Oh! No good! Oh. No good! Oh. You shanked it. Push the pressure off. got to him. I think Coach Pitbull has battle. plans this afternoon. He's just uh, trying to get out of the game at this point. Okay. Got to get 35. in there. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh. Next score wins. Oh. Get in there. Oh. oh. This has been by far the most intense match we've had. <laughs> I, There's I'm, been name calling, I'm hat the, turning, <laughs> people sitting up, down. There's Dude, a lot do going it. on. I'm on the edge of my seat. Dugan, smart play there. there Touchdown! Touchdown! Good ball game. Wow. Great wow. game. Great one. 26 19. Experience the thrill of victory only on the Springdale Athletic Foundation YouTube channel. Football Friday night. Good evening, Wildcat Nation. My name is Donald Tucker, the voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Welcome to Springdale Athletic Foundation TV broadcast of Springdale Public Schools District Athletics. This year, the Springdale Athletic Foundation is now in charge of streaming Springdale School District Athletic events. On behalf of Superintendent Dr. Jared Cleveland, Executive Director of Athletics Keith Fimple, Harbor High School Principal Dr. Paul Grieb, and the entire Springdale Athletic Foundation, welcome to Wildcat Friday night. Tonight, the Wildcats visit Bixby, Oklahoma, a program that has won the Oklahoma State Championship every year since 2014, except for the year 2017. Harbor football coach, head coach, Brent Eckley brings the Cats to an Oklahoma dynasty. Wildcats head coach, Brent Eckley will need to leverage his almost 30 years of coaching experience tonight. And speaking of years of experience, for your audible jubilation and viewing pleasure. Handling color commentary for the Springdale Athletic Foundation Television, Big Country himself, Mr. 72762, Big Don Strubing. Well, thank you for that fine lead in, Donald. It doesn't get much better than that. Boy, it's good to be here in the state of Oklahoma, here at the uh, garden spot here in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, Bixby, Oklahoma, drove through some nice sod farms. Yeah, that we did. Beautiful country, a lot of green, unusual for Oklahoma. Getting ready for the kickoff here. There's the kickoff to start the game. Going to go out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Tonight's broadcast will be brought to you by the following sponsors. Core Architecture, appreciate Core Architecture. There's ESI, Engineering Services. Ozarks Electric Cooperative. Pam Transport. And the Cats on the field, they'll have the ball first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Spread formation, single back. Fakes the handoff, fakes the pitch. He's going to get tackled for a loss on the right-hand side. A little speed option there into the boundary. We're just kind of tentative attacking the edge. A lot of nerves still yet to shake out. Second down and 11 for the Cats.
Takes a handoff, quick pass to just like Ashton Stewart. Ashton Stewart's going to pick up seven yards. That'll bring up third down and three. All right, here we go, Donald. We find ourselves in that uh, third and manageable situation. Operating pretty quick. Yeah, that we are. Big tempo. Same formation. Throws it over the top, incomplete. Intended for Trey Serrano on the right-hand side. Donald basically brought a lot of pressure that series right there, and that's probably part of their game plan to try to put the pressure on the young cats. Trips to the top, twins to the bottom for the cats. This is a fourth down. There's the snap. Quick kick. Kicks end over end. Takes a wildcat bounce. Looks like it's going to check up. It's going to get to the 29, or excuse me, the 34. So 34 yard line for Bixby to start. Takes a little bit of pressure off the defense, but it's a pretty good field position for Bixby to start. Yeah, pretty good field position, and that's where they uh, they like to hang their hat on the offensive side of the ball. I was watching them during pregame, and boy, they look Chris throwing and catching. You, know, we are against uh, this pretty pretty big task over here in state of Oklahoma tonight, Donald. Yeah. So first and 10 for Bixby. Bixby's going to start with trips to the top of the screen. Offensive line hustles to the line of scrimmage. Three front for the Cats. Hands it off on the left-hand side following a blocker. He's got some room. Arm tackle's not going to work there. He's going to pick up one. Yeah, he's going to pick up 11 yards. That's enough for a first down for their Bixby. You know, one area of uh, improvement that I know Coach Eckley was looking for this week is tackling. You know, we cannot afford to miss tackles. When the first man gets there, he's got to get him down, slow him down. First and 10 at the 45. There's the snap looking left, looking downfield. Receiver's going to come back, gets incomplete. That'll bring up second down and 10 from the 45. Hands off, left-hand side, following a blocker. He's got some room. He's going to get tackled. Going to be short of the first down marker. They'll bring up third down and two. You know, that running back just got in behind that big wave of offensive linemen, and they just stretched it, and he just got behind him and found a seam. Hands off, right-hand side. Oh, that's a good tackle right there, Don. <laughs> he has a sniper shot. Well, we're going to need a couple of those. Yep. When you're going over the logos like that, you got to get those knees up. Feet they, off the ground. Bixby had a lot of exotic formations. You know, I don't know if you realize the first time they came out, they had an offensive tackle down here just inside the numbers. So, right. they're kind of trying to play with Harbor's mind a little bit as far as identifying who has who. Fourth down and six. Three to the top for Bixby. Unbounced left. And he's going to get it. He's got it wide open. He's going to get all the way down to the 15-yard line. The Cats just took off. Yeah, and obviously, Donald, that's something that through film study, that's something that they identified last week as we lined up for punt, how we defend a punt. So they, you know, credit coaching to Bixby there. Hands off left-hand side, looking for some room. Out of bounds at the four. Got sucked in. We've got to keep contained. We've got to keep a point out there to turn things in. If you're going to shorten the edge, they're good enough to get to the edge and push the boundary. Big shift on offense for Bixby. It's a as they line up at first and goal at the four. Fakes a handoff inside. There's a flag on the play. He's going to get down to the one. That was an old Kansas City shovel pass. Travis Kelsey is what that was. Thank you. 
Face mask against the Cats. Walks on in for the touchdown. Bixby strikes first. Six to nothing. Kick is up and the kick is good. Seven to nothing, Bixby over the Cats. We'll be back right after this quick commercial break. Hello and welcome. My name is Donald Tucker and I'm the president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Thank you for taking interest as we embark on an exciting chapter in our mission to support the Springdale Public School District Athletic Department. The Springdale Athletic Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that has been passionately working towards one goal for the past 12 years, raising funds for the Springdale Public School District Athletic Department. Every dollar we raise goes directly back into the foundation to help support the dreams and aspirations of our district's incredible students. Our commitment to the district's children is unwavering. We believe that athletics plays a vital role in the personal growth, character development, and overall well-being. That's why we need your help today. By partnering with us, you become an integral part of our journey to empower and uplift these young athletes. I encourage you to visit our website, www.springdaleathleticfoundation.org, where you can find out more information about our organization, our impact, and how you can help support. Every contribution, big or small, makes a difference in the lives of our district kids. In an effort to continue to provide for our students and connect families across the country, this year we are taking our efforts to a whole new level. We're excited to announce that the Springdale Athletic Foundation is taking ownership of the live stream broadcast for the Springdale Public School District Athletic Games. That's right, Springdale Sports, captured by Springdale Kids, the Springdale Way. Now you can tune in and join us for the excitement of Friday Night Lights or March Madness, all from the comfort of your own home. So come out and support. Tune in live or just relive the moment, wherever, whenever. Shot on the way. And go! So I invite you to stand with us. Partner with the Springdale Athletic Foundation and be a part of something truly special. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of our district kids and ensure that Springdale sports continues to set the standards in athletics across the state. Hope you enjoy that short commercial there. Cats on the field, Bixby ready to kick off. It's going to be interesting to see what the Cats' response is to the first strike. Well, I know this, and I think Bixby is going to hang with the same M.O. I think they're going to bring pressure. So, Coach Eckley's probably going to throw quick, throw short, just get the ball out of the hands of the quarterback. Tackled at the 16-yard line. Cats will get the ball first and 10. Hands it off up the middle. He's going to pick up maybe a yard, maybe get back to the original line of scrimmage, depending on the spot. And that defensive line from Bixby, they're getting off the ball. We've got to come together up front inside that interior offensive line unit, work in unison. Pitches to the right-hand side. Just nothing going on over there on the short side of the field. 
Well, sometimes it's tough to run the speed option into the boundary, Donald, because a lot of times you can count that boundary as a, as a 12th defender. You, 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 you naturally, by the ball positioning on the field, shorten the ability to gain ground. Third down and 12. Fakes the handoff, looks downfield, throws, caught, nope, incomplete. That would have been a good completion for the Cats for the first down, but is an incomplete. Yeah, hey, look, the good ball, you got to catch those things. There's the punt, fielded at the 50. Crosses the 30, upended at the 25. You know, once again, Donald, we talked about on one on the previous, on one of our early drives that we gave up a score, we're getting sucked down. Same thing goes for any type of special teams coverage. You've got to stay fanned out. You've got to keep points on the outside that do not get sucked in where you lose containment. And that's what happened there. So Bixby will come to the line of scrimmage. First and 10 at the 25. Makes the handoff, looking right, throws deep over the top into the end zone. Incomplete. Looked like it hit him right in the hands. Yeah, I think we got fortunate on that one. Hey, great play fake by the quarterback. Kudos to our secondary for not biting on the play fake of the run because it was a good play fake. Yeah. Second down and 10, Spartans. Second down and 10 at the 25 for the Spartans. Right hand side, following some blockers all the way on the train. That's a touchdown for Bixby. Well, Don, we talked about it before we came on air. We knew they were going to execute. Bixby's come out, and of course they they destroyed their first week opponent pretty good, and uh, looks like they're. Their own path. They hadn't given up anything. Nope. So far, Bixby's hitting on all eight cylinders. Stacked to the top. Over the top. Complete. Incomplete. Little dump pass over the middle. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Appreciate you guys sticking with us here on the Springdale Athletic Foundation television. Cats behind the eight ball here. Well, that's what happens when you play a good team. You got to bring your A game, and any any chink in your armor is going to get exposed early and often. Hey, great turnout tonight. Yeah. Man, the Bixby fans and even the Harbor fans. There's a great smattering of Harbor fans over there. Yep, that there is. How about that flyover, Donald? It's pretty nice. I don't think I've ever seen a flyover at a high school game before. Touch back into the end zone. Real quick, hey, give credit where credit's due. Or we have uh, here tonight at Bixby, Military Appreciation Night. And uh, 
the organizers here in this community did a phenomenal job of honoring veterans in their community, and uh, uh, it sure was fun and uh, a pleasure to watch. Yeah, I bet it was. Quick pass completed to Stewart. Stewart out of bounds at the 25. There we go. There we go. Move the chain. Oh, excuse me. That's not Stewart. That's Trey Serrano. Second and three for the Cats. Trey Serrano on the jet sweep. Gets the door slammed in his face. He's going to lose a couple there. Yeah, we just got out big at the point of attack there, Donald. <laughs> nothing nothing fancy about that. We just kind of got mono we mono -ed. Was it four? Was it four? Sorry about that, folks. We know we're having some technical difficulties with the internet over here in beautiful Bixby, Oklahoma. We're working through it. Bear with us. We will have it recorded and uploaded completely after the game, but uh, we're managing what we have at the moment. Well, we were down for technical difficulties. Got a first down, Donald. We did. Second down and six, looks like about eight. Incomplete. Octay, we try to get that one. So it's third down and eight for the Cats. There's a snap, looking right. A lot of pressure. He's going to climb in the pocket. And he backs into that one, but he's going to pick up six yards, maybe seven. Fourth down and three. Well, what do you do here, Don? I mean, you need to create some momentum if you can. Yep. You know, normally you'd think it'd be a little bit early to, to get all crazy and go for it, but oh well. I kind of like it. Five minutes, 49 seconds left to go in the first quarter. There Caught. There's there the first go. down pass. Great job, Octay. Eight, Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Having difficulties with the internet. We're going to go with streaming, or excuse me, without streaming by recording the game and upload it later. Sorry for the trouble. So Harbor fumbles the ball, gives the 
Spartans the ball first and 10 at the 50. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate. You know, we were moving the chains, had some good things happening and just had a low snap and couldn't get back on it. And it's unfortunate because you, you hand the ball back over to a super hot offense in their own hometown and uh, they're ready to go. Yep. They're playing with supreme confidence, Bixby is. So Bixby comes to the line of scrimmage. First and 10th of 50, they have three to the bottom. Hands it off on the right-hand side. He's just running at daylight, that's all he's doing. He's gonna pick up eight yards, it'll be second and two. You know, Donald Bixby's taking just another offensive line and pulling him and he's lead blocking and it's just uh, get behind a big old wave. So that's the first down for Bixby. First and 10, looks like about the 34, or excuse me, 37 yard line. It's got some room, it's a foot race to the corner. Yeah, that's gonna come back, Donald. We got a hold on Bixby. All right, illegal talk, tackling by the offensive line. Unnecessary touching by the offensive lineman. Well, actually, I think it was one of those darn receivers, you know. Yeah, receivers. It's so easy to always blame the offensive yeah. line, you know. Well, I was an offensive lineman, so I think I'm entitled. You probably did a lot of holding, didn't you? A bit of hugging. More hugging? I think so. Dropping back, looking over the top, wide open. That's a touchdown for Bixby. Well, Donald, I don't want to state the obvious, but it looks like two teams playing at two different speeds. Yeah. So no good again, 25 to nothing. Spartans in the lead. I think the uh, Bixby's got it dialed in. Yeah, well, you know, hey, Donald, they, how many state championships do they have? Uh, I'll almost, uh, see, what, nine or eight? Nine. Well, hey, eight look. with minus one. So. Man, their head coach, Lauren Montgomery, and I, he and I go way back pregame. I, I, I did some visit with him. He was reminding me of when we were young coaches back about 2001, 2002, and he and I were uh, relegated to trading tapes. That's what young coaches did back then. You got the low man on the totem pole job, and, you know, I'm just so proud of what he's done. He came here when, when Bixby – was was not what they are now. Right. I mean, they were a an afterthought in the let's say the Tulsa metro area, and they have built something here in this community that they have take great pride in. I and mean, you can see it by the number of fans in the stands, uh, student section. Uh, they expect to win. Winning is is a culture here at Bixby now. Right. So here comes the kickoff. That will go out of the back of the end zone. That's another touchback. 80 yards for the Cats, first and 10 at the 20. Yeah, we got to get something going here. I was just kind of looking at our sidelines over there, and uh, I think we still have the big eyes a little bit. 
Yeah, it's not hard to do, and it's you know, 25 to nothing in the first quarter. I mean, that's a that's on pace for 100. Not very good at math, but I can, I can figure that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Quick pass caught to Wood. He's going to pick up six yards. Second down and four. Dropping back. He's got to climb the pocket. He hits trouble immediately. He's going to lose two yards. Yeah, we're being a little bit timid there. Once you know that it's going to break down, hey, put your head down, plow forward. And, uh, you know, we're just we're just not – our feet aren't in the ground. We're unsure of ourselves. Let's go out there and make some noise. Yeah. Pass to the right. Like it's caught. That's a long throw. That was. That's a first down pass for the All Cats, right. moving the sticks. I like the philosophy of moving the quarterback, getting him out of the pocket, getting him away from the rush. And I think right now he is seeing the rush. So good play call by Coach Eckley, just getting some confidence in your quarterback's mind. Hands it off up the middle, hits the gate, and back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, that was a fine piece of making people miss to get back to the line of scrimmage, Don. It's just... We're back. Cats have the ball third down. It's going to be fourth down now, fourth and five. Just under 50 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Here's the kick, end over end. It's going to hit at the 20. Yeah, a little bit of a backspin on the sandwich there. It's going to roll. It's like about the 17. 40, 40 seconds left to go in the first. First and 10, Bixby with the ball. Fakes a handoff, throws it in front. Plenty of blocking downfield. Now it's a foot race. Clean scales makes the arm tackle there, trips him up. That's a first down for Bixby. Donald uh, Bixby did a great job perimeter blocking. Just got a hat on a hat. and you know, They've got great receivers, and they just found some space to run. Quarterback picks up the fumble, but he gets forward, and he's about a yard short. Well, you know things are going good for you when you drop a snap. It's a busted play, and you Still gain nine busted, yards, yeah. eight or nine yards, yeah. Second and one. And they're going to call a timeout. We're going to take it with them, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Right after this quick commercial break.
All right, they flip the field. Now it's second quarter, 19 to nothing. So far, Bixby in the lead. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It's been Spartans the entire night. Yeah, the game's been controlled by Bixby. Um, hey, we got to go out there and make some noise. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of alluded to this. Uh, we don't have a lot of juice on our sidelines. And, you know, hey, you take a young young club on, on the road. Hey, it's an – I don't want to use the heat as a factor because it's hot. It's been hot, but this afternoon seemed to be unseasonably hot, what it has been the last couple of days. and um, It's kind of like we're just out of our groove, just enough. There's a snap, looking left, throwing downfield wide open. Does a little shiver on clink scales and shakes him off. He scores a touchdown. Yeah, Bixby guys need to be careful. They don't hurt themselves celebrating. You know, Don, we're going with a three down defensive front. We're doing that in hope to get more coverage on the back end. Right. But the downfall of that is we're getting the zero pressure on the quarterback. And I mean like not zero, but negative. <laughs> and and as long as he can sit back there and doesn't have to worry about anything, uh, you can probably copy and paste what the next series is going to be like. Well, kick's good. We'll be back after this quick commercial break. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Appreciate you guys watching the broadcast right here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. 11 minutes, 49 seconds to go in the second. It's 26 to nothing. Bixby, it's been Bixby the entire night so far. There's the kick. Out of the back of the end zone again. It'll be first and 10 at the 20 for the Cats. All right, another opportunity here. Three to the top. It's just hard to run when all the defensive players are in the backfield. Yeah, we're getting kind of beat up front. You know, with it's just, we're just getting out. I don't know if the term's out aggressive, but uh, definitely we're, we're playing too high, and, and, you know, we just got to come off the ball better. Uh, there's really no other way to sugarcoat that. Yeah. Second down and 11. Option outside, well defended against Bixby. That's going to be a loss of about, looks like nine yards. Yeah, speed option into the boundary again. Uh, doesn't seem to be a great deal of confidence right there. So, uh, you know, you get in these situations, we've all been here in these type of games, and uh, you got to fight your way through a feeding frenzy. Speaking of feeding frenzy, frenzy I think you ate it uh, – Charlie's chicken. Tonight. Yeah, Charlie's chicken is really good. There's a snap incomplete into the ground. Pass intended for Trey Serrano. That'll bring up fourth down and 17 for Harbor.
Good Harbor bounce. Yeah, got lucky. Slipped the field best we could on that one. So first and 10 for Bixby. They've got the ball to 47. Tackled at the line of there scrimmage. We go. Great job by the Cats. It's yeah, that's some aggressiveness. Ten. Got a little injury there, Donald. Yeah, wonder if it's a cramp. Yeah, it looks like they're kind of looking at his foot. They're helping him up. I believe we just got a cramp there. We're going to get a lot of those. Yeah, it's a hot afternoon. It was a hot trip over. Yeah, you know, that's a danger, though, when you come out of some hot weather and then you hit a, a week that's not as brutally hot, mm. you you, you kind of get lax on your hydration. Yeah. Ten minutes, 26 seconds left to go in the second. 26 to nothing. Bixby. There we go. Hold on. Good job. Hold on. There we go. Great tackle, but that's going to be a first down run for yeah. Bixby. But we're doing a little better. Rallying up, making them earn it. Drop him back. He's going to scramble off to the races. And he's gone. Yeah, we tried to bring a little pressure there, Donald. And uh, by doing so, we lost contain. And that's what kind of happens. If you're going to bring that second level, if you beat it, it's a house call. Yeah. The old saying, live by the sword, die by the sword. There's a snap, kick is up, and the kick is good. 33 to nothing with 9.35 to go in the second. Taking a quick break, folks. We'll be back right here on SAF Television.
Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Bixby on a run here, 33 to nothing in the second quarter. Bixby has a lot of weapons in their arsenal. They do. They do. Uh, and, hey, look, they're playing with confidence. You know, you can always tell a lot. Oh, yeah. It's not always true, but more times than not. You watch the team during pregame, how they warm up. Are they crisp? Do they do the little things? Do they flow? And, and yeah, I watched their warm-ups. And, uh, we knew this was going to be a formidable task here. The Cats back for kickoff return. Another one unchallenged. Let me go out the back of the end zone. Right at the 20-yard line, first down Springdale. Cats will get it as usual, first and 10 at the 20. Not back, look left, throw, caught. That's five, maybe seven yards on the completion. There we go. On the carry, number 19, Bryce Essex. That's number nine, Bryce Essex, Essex on the completion for the Cats. Bring up second down and less than a yard. Back keeper on the left hand side. I don't believe he's going to get there. No, it's going to be close. I well, like giving it to us, I think. Good spot. First down, Springdale. They do. So the Cats pick up the first down, first and 10 from the 30. Quick pass, intercepted. And that's going to be a pick six for Bixby. Snap is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. It is 40 to nothing, folks. Cats got a fight on their hands. We'll be back right after this. Accidents are never planned, but no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Big Don streaming. It's a fist fight down there, and uh, somebody forgot to tell us that it's a fight. Yeah, it's kind of like Rocky versus Apollo Creed in Rocky IV. Not going very good, and uh, but it's like old Sam Walton always said, best luck of all is the luck you make for yourself. Hey, you know, there's a lot going on here tonight, and once again, this is week two of the high school season, and Coach Eckley is – you know, working his culture into this program. So, hey, this is one of those moments where you have got to, as you know, as rough as the seas seem, stay encouraging because you've got a young team 
and you got to keep that sideline up. And, uh, you know, we talked, I think, last week, the old Roadrunner Wiley Coyote situation. Hey, sometimes things aren't very good, but you got to keep chopping the wood. That's it. So first and 10 for the Wildcats. They're set up at the 20 yard line. Nine minutes, four seconds left to go in the second. Cats call a timeout. We're gonna take it with them folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right here on SAF television. Goodbye guessing. Hello confidence. So long stress. Hello security. Farewell running to the bank. Hello banking from anywhere. Get a quick view of your balance. Lock lost debit cards and quickly deposit checks anywhere, anytime with the highly rated Arvest Go mobile app from Arvest Bank. Goodbye limits. Hello possibilities. Welcome back Wildcat Nation. Cats have the ball, first and 10 at the 20. 9.04 on the clock, coming off of a fresh timeout. Hands it off on the left-hand side, looking for some room, picks up a few yards. It's number 13 for the Cats. Wilson, excuse me, Jackson. Snap rolls to the bottom of your screen. Looks as a man open, incomplete. Intended for number five, Evan Curry. Pass intended for Curry will fall incomplete. Brings Good thing we stayed on the run, Donald. They're bringing heat off the off the backside. Got an unblocked defender coming. Anytime he's to the single receiver side, the guy, the defensive or the outside linebacker, that's splitting the difference. He's coming if he has a single receiver. Three to the bottom, two to the top for the Cats. Dropping back, looks right across the middle, intended for Trey Serrano. Quarterback number 15, Spray, hitting the backfield. The pass will fall incomplete. Well, they brought him all that time, Donald. 31 to go in the second. And any time we get into an empty formation with no backs, that's going to be an automatic check. Quarterback Curry, number 26, Trey McLaughlin. The punt was tipped. It's going to be, uh, I don't know, a minus five yard punt. Picked up at the 15 yard line, so the Cats. Got their back against the wall as Bixby's deep inside the red zone. From the Springdale, 16-yard line. Hands it off. Quarter, no, he keeps it. Quarterback, keep up the middle. Clay Peters on the keeper. On the stop, Lance Desmond. Kind of a neat little formation by Bixby there. Kind of round the reverse wishbone. The old diamond. Second down and six. 7.46 to go in the second. There's a hole there, number 30 for Bixby. That'll be a hole there yeah. against Bixby. Those hips. So that'll back him up. Down in 
and 15. Sometimes getting backed up is, when you're in the red zone is not necessarily a bad thing. Right. Is a Case in point. Yep. Touchdown for Bixby. Snap is down, the kick is up. The kick is good. 47 to nothing, folks. Seven minutes, 15 seconds to go in the half. We'll be back right after this. Goodbye, paperwork. Hello, convenience. Farewell waiting. Hello, personal service. Catch you later, dreaming. Hello, planning. Buy your dream home. Connect with a personal banker and easily schedule an appointment with digital tools from Arvest Bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. So Cats it line up for kickoff return. 47 to nothing, 7.15 to go in the half. Cats looking for some positivity. Kick out of the back of the end zone again. That'll be first and 10 at the 20. Seven minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the half. Seems like this second quarter's been a couple weeks long. Line of scrimmage. He's going to lose a half a yard. Keegan Smith on the carry for the Cavs. It'll be second down. Let's just call it 10 and a half. Pass incomplete. I don't think we're a little bit rattled. I mean, uh, you would think you get to this point in time of the game. Uh, not much. Can go wrong. They hadn't gone wrong, but we're st still a little bit gun shy, a little bit rattled. We just need to make some easy throws and catches, move the chains, try to find the positives. Third down and ten and a half. Makes a handoff, gonna get hit from behind. That is going to be a fumble. Nope, incomplete pass. A little bit of a break there for the Cats. Pressured in there by number six, Jeff Turner. Fourth down and 11, 6.15 to go in the half. Sides. We'll take it. A little positivity there for the Cats. Take it anywhere we yeah. go. So it's going to be fourth down and six. Watch 
close to the bottom. Here's the punt. Oh, he's off to the races in the corner. He's got a seam. He goes untouched into the end zone for a punt return touchdown. Well, we get down there, we don't break down. First guy misses, second three run by the ball. And then it's over with. Snap is down, the kick is up, and it is good. 54 to nothing with 5.26 to go in the second. Bixby's got the lead. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for supporting the Fuel and Feet program. I'm Cassie Lloyd, the head volleyball coach at Harbor High School. And without your help, this program would not be possible. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. My name is Brandi Davis, girls basketball coach at Central Junior High. Thank you for donating to the Fuel and Feet program. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Fuel and Feet program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This brings the Athletic Foundation television. Struby, it's 54 to nothing in the second. It's still, there's still five minutes and 26 seconds left to go. I mean, it's... Hey, we got an opportunity, Donald. Feel a little bit like a woodpecker in a petrified forest, but we're looking for chances here. There's the vision for you. Wonder how old Crazy Rick's doing tonight. Crazy Rick Davis. Here's the kick. That is going to go out of the back of the end zone. This one's a little shorter, though. It had to take a bounce first. The old Crazy Rick, uh, you know, he's uh, he's playing old Preston Cash, Harbor alum, and Bray Cook, a Harbor alum. We got Gentry versus P. Ridge, kind of a battle of the old Harbor old heads tonight. We might sneak up with you next Friday night during our bye week. Yeah, when you go see our dear friend Crazy Rick. There's the option. Great read by the defensive end with containment and pursuit right there on the heels. Quick pass to the top. That's Curry. Curry's going to get. He's going to pick up about five yards. He'll get back to the original line of scrimmage plus one. I'm glad Bixby doesn't have a cannon, Donald. Yeah, there'd be, there'd, there'd be some issues here. They had a run out of ammo. Third down and nine. Looking left, throws left, incomplete, intended for Wood. I remember one time Crazy Rick and I were coaching. We were playing Rodgers, and Rodgers' zone is pretty good. And he came up to me during the game and said, yeah, I'm concerned about the Rodgers band. 
I said, what? I said, Rick, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah, I'm afraid they're going to die of exhaustion up there from playing the fight song. <laughs> Fourth down. Incomplete. Pass intended for Wood. Great job. He threaded the needle, just couldn't, couldn't find the handle on it. So it's first and 10 from the 21. Athletic Foundation Television's got the broadcast rights for athletics for the Springdale Public Schools. Appreciate you guys supporting us and supporting the kids in Springdale. There's a snap, fakes the pitch, and keeps it. Great job at the line. Clink Skills does a good job of making a stop after two yards. Let's get the feeling Clink, stills, Clink Skills doesn't make that tackle. That's a touchdown yeah. because the yeah. safety coming up to make the tackle at the line. That's three levels. Second and eight. Looking left into the corner. That's a touchdown over the back. It was not bad coverage. No, it wasn't bad right coverage. That was a good throw and catch. If he got any closer, he had to be spray painted on him. You just got to turn around and see the ball. But um, I mean, the guy's just he's putting it on a dime. And no, hey, look, uh, credit to Bixby. I mean, they've come out and just executed. And, you know, a lot of people think, uh, well, I'll tell you, to come out and score, convert this. 61 points. Folks, that's hard to do sometimes in practice with not a defense in front of you. Right. Uh, but, you know, hey, look, uh, it's not Harbor's night, but give credit where credit's due. Bixby is a fine, fine football team. Yeah, hitting on all cylinders. That they are. I mean, I, it, it appears that tonight would be a good night to uh, – well, I better not say that. Uh, everybody in town's at the game here tonight. There, I, you know, this reminds me of, we kind of talked about this on the way up here because we're pulling into the state. It reminds me of Web City. You know, yeah, Web boy, City, that was a that, small town. Yep. One school. A bunch of little kids running around wearing Bixby Spartan jerseys, but that's what it takes. Yeah. Think about all the great football towns you've ever been to. There's always those kids. I remember that one time up at Web City, we were walking down the field. There's a whole bunch of kids, and they're giving us high fives and everything, and talking trash. And, <laughs> hey, we come off the field, and, you know, Webb City after the game scored 40 some odd points on us. Those same kids were saying, "Good job, good job, right. good job." You just want to say, "Hush, kid." Yeah. And here's the kickoff with two minutes 53 seconds to go. High, deep. Catch back. Cats will get a first and ten at the 20. And Stewart being tackled from behind. That is not easy to do. Stewart on the carry. One stop, number 99, Justin Kirk. Brings up second down and 16 for Springdale. So second down and 16 for the Cats, 224 to go in the second. There's the snap. Looking left, rolling left, tipped. Incomplete. Third and 15 for the Cats. Well, Donald, did, I think Oklahoma plays NCAA rules. And, uh, you know, uh, Oklahoma and Texas still play NCAA rules. The rest of the country plays National Federation. And 
I was kind of chatting with a, a colleague here a minute ago, and uh, I'm not sure we have the Mercer Rule here in the state of Oklahoma. Smith on the carry for the Cats. He's going to pick up two yards the hard way. And he'll bring up fourth down, fourth and 15 yards. Punt, end over end. Caught at the 50. Great job yeah. snuffing it out there on the sideline for the Cats. Hughes over there. Rowan Graham's over there. Those aren't guys you typically hear making tackles. First and 10, just inside the 20. Right up the middle for a touchdown. Taking a quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Sometimes a dream car has nothing to do with horsepower or performance. My dream car is the one that gets me to my job every day. The one that lets me help a friend in need. I didn't think I had the credit. My credit score wasn't that good. But CarMart believed in me. They believed in me. My dream car, a 2016 Nissan Sentra. What's yours? America's Car Mart. You keep the dream, and we'll keep you on the road. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Cats on the fence here. Looking for just some positive steps. And, I mean, tip of the hat to Bixby. They have got every single aspect of this game perfected. They are going to be hard to beat. That's why they've only lost one state championship game since, ninth, or since 2014. Yeah, they're a good ball club. And, I um, mean, they carry themselves like a good ball club. They execute. Um, you don't see a lot of, of, of good ball penalties. They play clean. I mean, outside of your – your average holding penalty. Yeah, that's going to happen. Right. Sweep on the bottom. Don't get a kick. You know, Donald Bixby does a great job of setting a point back there, not losing contain and turning it back into the flow. And that's where we got into problems early in this game was we simply didn't have a contain point. We didn't have an anchor point. To, to allow the flow, the help to catch up to catch up and help. Yeah, yeah, they've got great pursuit from the defense, and that just makes it easy for them once they've contained to close it up. You're right about that. Hit at the line of scrimmage. They're going to drive him back. Looks like we've got a hurt cat on the field. Gonna look at him. We're gonna take a quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. 
Let's it's good. Cool. Introducing the Springdale Public Schools Paper Football Tournament. Get ready for a showdown like no other. Happens here. Where the game comes alive on. Oh, they're bringing them up, so bring them back when this is done. It's not just a child's game, it's a battle of wits. Who will claim victory and etch their name in Springdale history? Experience the thrill of victory only on the yeah. Springdale Athletic Foundation YouTube channel. Dude, you're fine. Listen, I'm not mad at you. All right. Arkansans right. appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. And that's going to be the halftime for the game tonight. 68 to nothing. Cats trail big. Stick with us, folks. we got more football coming at you from Bixby, Oklahoma. We'll be back right after this. Hometown. That word still means something here. It means we're neighbors. We do the right thing. We care about your family. And you deserve the very best every time you walk in the front door. Harps. Hometown Fresh. Thank you for supporting the Fuel and Feet program. I'm Jared Park. Without your help, this program would not be possible. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. Hi, my name is Brett Hobbs. I'm the head football coach at Springdale High School. Thank you for making an investment into the future of athletics in our community of Springdale. We support Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Feel and Feed program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. Thank you for your support. On behalf of Springdale Schools Athletics, I want to say thank you.
And now, please welcome to the field the 2023-2024 Bixby Varsity Dance Team. Captains are Ava Stevens and Olivia Williams. Dancers of the Week, Kinsley Wells and Clary Kasbaum. Assistant Coach, Ruby James. Head Coach, Victoria Pacella. fans, if you will please turn your attention to the north side of the field. Adrian was selected for this week's game to participate in the Chick-fil-A Kicking for Chicken contest. If Adrian can kick in this field goal, Adrian will win three Chick-fil-A combo meals for a year. Put your hands together for Adrian. Let's see if we can get it through the uprights. It's up and it's good. Thanks for Adrian for participating in this week's Chick-fil-A Kicking for Chicken contest. If you'd like to participate in this contest in future games, please register at the Chick-fil-A booth before the game for your opportunity to kick for chicken. Now entering the field, please welcome your 2023 Pride of Bixby. The pride of Bixby has won every 6A Division II state championship from 2014 to 2021, the entirety of its time in that classification. In the spring of 2023, the pride of Bixby performed on the international stage in Ireland, where they were awarded grand champion at the international competition. The pride of Bixby's first competition this year is at the Owasso Invitational on Saturday, September 30th, where they compete against fans from across the nation. Can you get that? Presenting their 2023 program, Neo Sparta. Please welcome to the field drum majors Camilla Garcet Silva, Michaela Andres, Emma Goff, and Camden Downs in the pride of Bixby.
like MacBooks and everything. Okay. Maybe. Let's unplug this just to see if it's the real, real deal. No. Thank you for supporting the Fuel and Feet program. I'm Jared Park. Without your help, this program would not be possible. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. Hi, my name is Brett Hobbs. I'm the head football coach at Springdale High School. Thank you for making an investment into the future of athletics in our community of Springdale. We support Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Feel and Feed program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. Thank you for your support. On behalf of Springdale Schools Athletics, I want to say thank you. Ozarks Go from Ozarks Electric Cooperative is leading the fiber revolution. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post, from downtown to way out of town, to connect our customers to a world of blazing speed and access to absolutely everywhere. It's our customers connected. If you need that love, support, somebody to push you, to tell you you can do it, I would tell them to come to Pam Transportation. It's a family here. It's, it's not just a regular company. They will look after you. They will show you that you are important. You are welcome here. Joe and Larry here with Sam's Furniture. We just wanted to thank you for your business and to let you know that your purchase helps serve so many people. That's right. The culture here at Sam's is to love and serve others in our community and around the globe. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many organizations we partner with. You enable us to invest in our children, teachers, veterans, development in Africa, and distributing wheelchairs to those in need around the world. You are a part of this. So from the Sam's Furniture family to yours, thank, thank you. you. Hey Northwest Arkansas, Lara here at Sam's Furniture. If you're looking for new furniture, we have over 170,000 square feet selection at everyday low prices and same day delivery available. But the best part is that we love to serve our community. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many amazing organizations that we have been blessed to partner with. Serving others, especially those in need, is our culture here. And we hope that you'll be a part of that too. Arkansas's largest furniture destination, get it at Sam's. Try the three and three meal at Slim Chickens. Three hand breaded chicken tenders paired with three perfectly fried wings, shaken in your choice of house flavors. Served with fries, Texas toast, and a medium drink. Slim Chickens, fresh, delicious chicken. Nothing says game day like good friends and great food. And at Slim Chickens, we know great food. From our 100% all-natural chicken tenders, fresh-made wings served with house sauces, to delicious chicken sandwiches, crisp salads, southern sides, and desserts you just can't get anywhere else. At Slim's, we have the food you love, made fresh for the people you care about. Dine in, drive through, or order online. Slim Chickens. Fresh, delicious chicken. What if we told you you could buy your next home without having to compromise? That's exactly what the Schuber Mitchell Come Home Savings Program can do for you. Choose between a $5,000 design studio allowance, a $7,500 luxury kitchen and bath upgrade, $3,500 in closing costs, or a 0.5% rate buy down, saving you thousands over the life of your loan. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Come home to a place you love. Head to Schuber Mitchell's website today to take advantage of this limited time offer. Hello and welcome, my name is Donald Tucker and I'm the president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Thank you for taking interest as we embark on an exciting chapter in our mission to support the Springdale Public School District Athletic Department. The Springdale Athletic Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that has been passionately working towards one goal for the past 12 years, raising funds for the Springdale Public School District Athletic Department. Every dollar we raise goes directly back into the foundation. 
to help support the dreams and aspirations of our district's incredible students. Our commitment to the district's children is unwavering. We believe that athletics plays a vital role in the personal growth, character development, and overall well-being. That's why we need your help today. By partnering with us, you become an integral part of our journey to empower and uplift these young athletes. I encourage you to visit our website, www.springdaleathleticfoundation.org, where you can find out more information about our organization, our impact, and how you can help support. Every contribution, big or small, makes a difference in the lives of our district kids. In an effort to continue to provide for our students and connect families across the country, this year we are taking our efforts to a whole new level. We're excited to announce that the Springdale Athletic Foundation is taking ownership of the live stream broadcast for the Springdale Public School District Athletic Games. That's right, Springdale Sports, captured by Springdale Kids, the Springdale Way. Now you can tune in and join us for the excitement of Friday Night Lights or March Madness, all from the comfort of your own home. So come out and support. Tune in live or just relive the moment, wherever, whenever. Shot on the way. So I invite you to stand with us, partner with the Springdale Athletic Foundation, and be a part of something truly special. Together, we can make a difference in the lives of our district kids and ensure that Springdale sports continues to set the standard in athletics across the state. I'm Don Struve. It's because of the generosity of people like you, we are able to fully support the Fuel and Feed program. For this, we thank you and appreciate your help. I support Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. My name is Zach Arns, a voice of the Springdale Bulldogs. Thank you for donating to the Fuel and Feet program. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Fuel and Feet program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. On behalf of Springdale Schools Athletics, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support. During the Great Depression, nothing came easy. But with just five cents, an old truck, and a load of hay, John Tyson and his family found a way to deliver quality chicken to other hardworking people. Today. Tyson continues to find new ways to help put a chicken in every pot because people deserve farm-raised chicken of the highest quality. At Tyson, we remain committed to this simple promise, to always keep it real, to always keep it Tyson. What's the only thing better than ordering your Whataburger favorites right on your phone? Earning free Whataburger while doing it. Download the Whataburger app to get started, just like you like it.
Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Second half action right here in Bixby, Oklahoma. Bixby all over the Cats tonight. 68 to nothing so far. What happens in the locker room? I mean, what are those conversations <laughs> like? Oh, well, it's kind of uncharted territory for anybody. Yeah. Uh, look, you know, and I'm sure you're thinking back. Uh, uh, I told you it's like that movie, uh, Tombstone. No cowboy says, you ever see anything like that? The other one says, I ain't you never heard, heard of nothing like that. Yeah. So, hey, look, it is what it is. And uh, right now you'll find out who's going to compete, who wants to compete, right. regardless of the odds. Yep, this is the mental toughness part. So oh, the Cats will kick off. Schwartz, lofty kick. Oh, almost handled. <sighs> So let's – Daspin almost had that. It was the backspin on the ball. but So Bixby will get the ball first and 10. Looks like they're going to have it about the 40. Well, they're going to move it up to the 45, 46. So first and 10 at the 46-yard line. <clears throat> you know, hey, sky kick it. Try to make something happen. Yeah. Hey, got, got to. Almost did. Hands off, left hand side. Oh. I know what you were thinking there, Donald. We're a little close to the sideline, be making that tackle. Yeah. Tate Beam on the stop there, and he got his bell rung. Just hit it, you know, hit his head on the back of his head on the ground. I heard it up here. I think right now he's trying to answer the door. Hands it off up the middle. Another stop by Beam. So bring up third down and it's like about six yards for Bixby. Check the audible at the line of scrimmage. Hands off on the delay handoff. Hits the secondary or the second line of defense there for the Cats. It's going to pick up two yards. It'll bring up fourth down and three. All right, one more down. See what we can make happen here. Late substitutions for the Cats. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have enough guys out there, I don't think, Coach. Timeout on the Cats. We're going to take it with them, folks. Don't go anywhere. 68 to nothing. 10-14 to go in the third. We'll be back right here on SAF Television. I'm Jason Jones, principal at Springdale High School. Thank you for making an investment into the future of athletics in our community of Springdale. We support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. Thank you for supporting the Fuel and Feet program. I am Paul Gree, principal at Harbor High School. Without your help, this program would not be possible. I support the Springdale Athletic Foundation because they care about our student athletes. The Fuel and Feed program raises money to help pay for pregame and postgame meals for kids and coaches. In addition, we raise funds to buy athletic footwear for students to compete in. I am Donald Tucker, president of the Springdale Athletic Foundation. Please take this time to help our students and coaches. Visit the link on the screen to donate now. Thank you for your support. On behalf of Springdale School Athletics, I want to say thank you. Welcome back. Hands off Bixby. Picks up a first down. It's number 27 for Bixby. Tackled by Tate Beam. Pitch the right hand side, looking for containment. 
Cat's doing a good job stretching it out. Pretty good job line. stretching it out. We didn't, we, you know, I was watching our outside linebacker. We didn't get hooked. So he started stringing it out, stringing it out, stringing it out, and that's what we got to do. Second and five for Bixby. Hands it off, left-hand side, looking for some room. Good containment there, good pursuit. It does pick up a first down, but, I mean, it, everybody's close. And the yeah, we're not giving up the big play. Hands it off again up the middle. Tate Beam on the stop. Cut back, back seam. He's going to pick up six. Yeah, Bixby just stretches there and found a seam. And, uh, hey, you know, we, we hung with it, hung with it. And, you know, the one thing I am encouraged here, Donald, we're making them earn every yard here. Yes. Third down and two. Hit the line of scrimmage. Great job. Number 31 for the Cats. It's Landon Baker. Good job of Landon Baker getting up there, wrapping them up, and dragging them down. Fourth and two. Brady Clinton on the stop as well. They're going to get it. They're going to move the sticks. It's first down for Bixby. Well, Donald, that's just the old Green Bay Packer buck sweep right, buck sweep left. And I think uh, Bixby's using this opportunity to get some guys some reps. And yep. uh, they're going to do what they do best. Outside. Whoa. Boy, howdy. Now that was a lick. Got a cat down out there, Donald. Well, we do. We'll take a quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Accidents are never planned. But no matter how small, every emergency that involves a child is a big deal. It's everything. That's why we're here. Arkansas Children's Northwest offers the only pediatric emergency room in Northwest Arkansas with fast access, pediatric experts, and kid-sized care. Peace of mind when you need it most. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. Donald Tucker, your voice of the Harbor Wildcats. Appreciate you guys sticking with us here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. Six minutes, 10 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Sweep to the bottom, great containment, turning it back in. And he's crossing field, looking for, picks up a block. That's a touchdown for Bixby. You 
you know, as a defense, you heart pursue, 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 get everybody to the ball. And hey, yeah, there's you we talked have, about last week. You got to keep somebody in that rocking chair on the back door. Yep, you got to have a trailer. Yeah. Snap is down, the kick is up, and that is good. 75 to nothing. Taking a quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Goodbye, guessing. Hello, confidence. So long, stress. Hello, security. Farewell, running to the bank. Hello, banking from anywhere. Get a quick view of your balance, lock lost debit cards, and quickly deposit checks anywhere, anytime with the highly rated Arvest Go mobile app from Arvest Bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. Food that is fresh, full of flavor, and all for a good cause can only come from Tacos for Life in Springdale. Enjoy delicious tacos for a cause. When you buy a meal, Tacos for Life donates the proceeds to provide a meal to starving children. Download the Tacos for Life app for ongoing promotions and free food for our friends right here in Springdale. Great food for a great cause. Tacos for Life, 1210 JTL Parkway in Springdale. Welcome back, Wildcat Nation. 75 to nothing. Cats trail, and that is a huge kick out of the oh, back. Oh, that kick that thing up north of Memorial Drive, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going to come down with frost on it. What little kid fetching the tee. He's going to be wore out after this game, isn't he? That he is. i tell you what, though. No. Well, I'll tell you your story here in a minute. Three to the bottom, first and ten at the 20. Fakes the handoff, throws across there we go. the middle. Oh, it's a foot go, race now. Oh, we got a penalty back here. Oh, you're kidding. I don't know. Curry Maybe. grabbing another gear. Touchdown, Harbor Wildcats. That is a long way, but if the referees are not. Oh, oh they, they gave our quarterback the business, so here we go. Wow, I thought that was coming back. Oh, oh, bad snap. Looking for some help back there. Well, Harper breaks the big goose egg. Gets six. A little update from Springdale, 21 to 21. 704 left to go in the third. Come on, Bulldogs. Sit there and bask in the touchdown. Yeah, it's great, great side, wasn't it? Dude, I, I'll be honest. Curry's got some wheels. Like I knew yeah. he was fast. Yeah, he was but fast. If you're playing away, if you're pulling away from these athletes, yeah, you're a stud. Yeah, that's good. That's positive to see. Getting back my old story about that kid going out there fetching the tea. I was a little bit worried about him wearing out, you know, and. Uh, you're just jumping on the Rick, crazy Rick Davies band story. 
Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, here's a cool story. So, I was coaching against Nickel State in Thibodeau, Louisiana. I guess this would have been, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s. And uh, they had a bird dog down there. And that bird dog would uh, he'd go out there every time Nickel State – kicked off he'd go out there and fetch the tea and that was pretty good and i was fortunate i got to be there early in the year to see that bird dog because when bird season opened up bird dog didn't didn't participate in college football games anymore so bird dog stuff there's the kick into the end zone for a touchback after the penalty so bixby will have the ball first and 10 at the 20. That's what we need, Don. We need like a bird dog go fetch our tees after we kick off. Yep. I've got I've got a 14-year-old female yellow lab. And we've had two of them for you know for well, we had to put the male down after 12 years, but anyways, full-blooded yellow labs both of them and they don't retrieve. Like only my like, house would have broken Labrador retrievers. Well, you're dealing with, like, sticks and balls. So, this is tea. This would be different. Listen, I have a feeling they get I on quick. I think they start them off with balls and teas. And then they go – or <laughs> balls and sticks, and then they go to teas. I could even get them to – I would throw it. Then I would go get it and bring it back and show them. <laughs> well, what are they chasing for if you were going to go yeah, get it? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Tate Beam on the stop again. Tate Beam hung 19 tackles last week. 19. That's pretty, that's pretty phenomenal. It is. Yeah, that is. I wondering what tonight. I mean, so far I've been saying his name a lot. I'm wondering what he's going to have tonight. Right sweep. There's a flag. Ooh, there might be another flag. I don't think we're supposed to be tackling up in the cheap seats. Yeah, we about ran that guy through the old fence. Bound him up in the line of scrimmage. Starting to bring a little heat. And in motion, the defense will shift. Hands it off up the middle and immediately swallowed up by the interior of the Harbor Wildcat defense. Here's the snap. Rolls the punt. Oh. Steele gets the punt off. Rolls to the 30. And the Cats will get the ball first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Almost got it in the end zone. It was almost kind of interesting, dog, because it looked like one of our kids tried to almost catch the, the ball.
All right, Dom. Great start and field position. Yeah, I like it. I'll take it. Kind of like that movie. So you say there's a chance. What's this one in a million talk? <laughs> Keep around the left-hand side. It's got a room. It's going to pick up five yards. Essex doing a good job of just taking the ball and running yeah. for daylight. They're going to take it to the fourth quarter right here, 75-6. to six. Cats have the ball, knocking on the red zone. We'll be back right after this. If you need that love, support, somebody to push you, to tell you you can do it, I would tell them to come to Pam Transportation. It's a family here. It's, it's not just a regular company. They will look after you. They will show you that you are important. You are welcome here. Welcome back. Appreciate you guys sticking with us here. Hard fight for the Cats and the Cat Nation, for that matter. But, I, I mean, this isn't really just searching for positivity here, but it's, they were down 75 to nothing. It still fought back for a touchdown. Yeah, we, you know. It's easy to walk off oh, into the sunset yeah, when you're 75 to nothing. It's easy, you know. Tell the bus driver fired up the bus. Oh yeah. Uh but you you did. I mean, that's what coach. I mean, the, Coach Eckler never wants to be in this position. Nobody does. Sure. Uh, but you're gonna look around the sideline, and it's pretty easy to identify who's gonna be with you and who's gonna turn their back. And when you have a big organization, there are always those. Yeah. Fakes the snap, throws across the middle. Curry again. Down to the five, first and goal for the Cats. Great throw and catch. Yes. Great throw and catch. At the line of scrimmage, Curry in motion. Makes a handoff, hands it off up the middle, picks up two. Second and looks like they're going to put him at the four-yard line. Is that Bryce Essex in there at quarterback? It is. Smith fighting for three. Second and goal. Hands it off to Stewart around the end. Punches it. Ooh, Down close. to the one. Hey, great job running that play right there. That's the way you're supposed to execute the jet sweep. You see him stringing out and just, boom, get a find, find a seam, seam and get go. up in there. Yeah, he didn't mess around. Inside. Ooh, touchdown for the Cats. Man, that old PA announcer didn't sound very fired up when he announced that. No, I wasn't too excited. He's over there drinking water. He's parched. <laughs> Going for two. Side steps. Essex going to get hit. Tackled at the five. Yeah, we had a little bit of busted play there. Seventy-five to twelve, cats trail, but they're not going quietly into the night. I know twelve really. I mean, it doesn't scratch seventy-five, but it's a gut check. Keep on trucking. Keep all you on can chopping do. wood. You don't like that old saying when you're going through heck. Keep on going. Yep. 
Don't stop. Here's the kick, short, fielded at the 36. Gonna be shut down at the 43. Ten minutes, five seconds left to go in the ball game. Don, you got all those wires over there. I mean, this whole place mm. looks like something in that movie, Spies Like Us. We got all these wires here. We got Gulliver's Travel. <laughs> like you're pinned down. I know, I am. If there's a fire, just save my family. There's Beam again. Third down and three for Bixby. Nine minutes to go in the ball game. Three to the top, one split down at the bottom for the Spartans. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. There's the snap, hands it off on the right hand side. That door gets shut fast. Stopped by Jack Rhodes. Fourth and one for Bixby. Well, good penetration. Hold him up and take the ball. That was the plan. Landon Baker there initial made the initial contact. That'll be a turnover. That might be the first turnover against Bixby tonight. Well, we'll take it here, Don. Good start and field position. First and 10 at the 49. Hands it off, has a little room, gets tackled for, looks like about two yard loss. So Donald, this game here will lead us into our, into our uh, Got a bye week. Next bye week. Yeah. Uh, bye week, come back. Mustang. Yeah, you know, <laughs> well, the schedule's set up. It doesn't get any easier for the Cats. No, it does not. And uh, that's been the way it's been for the last four or five years. Um, oh, hey, got some room hey. here. First down run on the right-hand side. Bryce Essex doing a good job of just getting through the daylight seams. That'll move the sticks. You know, so Coach Eckley, you know, you're backed up against a break. You always want to. You always want to win that one for the bye because it just kind of hangs around. But yeah. I have a feeling Coach Eckley may take his film and burn it. Hey, look at there. That's a touchdown, touchdown for the Cats. for the Cats. Lee Allen, Jr., 5'9", 165, does a great job. Great throw and catch there, Donald. Yeah, great throw. Let's 
Keeping, looking for some room, and that gets shut down yeah, fast. Yeah, we got a little tentative out there. Six minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the game. Yeah, this is one of those games, Donald, where you go back and do the modern video editing, you can find you can find good things. You, you don't have to watch the whole game. You go back there and you can find teachable clips of corrections that need to be made and the highlights. You know, let's focus on the good. You always got to finish up something good. But, you know, for the most part, I don't know if Coach Eckley is going to spend a great deal of time on this. Um, hey, you got to get ready for the next one. And it's always kind of a weird, odd situation when they, when you, especially when things go, go well for you, backed up against a, a you know, essentially a two weeks before you play your next one. But we will be back home. That's right. Thirty-one twenty-eight, Farmington in the lead over the Bulldogs. Minute left in the third quarter there. Squib kick gets it at the 38, out of bounds. Looks like about the 45. And they're going to put him at the 47. You know, Donald, uh, basically did a great job here, this community outing, you know, military appreciation, but – you know, another thing, they had a little extra added security uh, in place tonight after some things that happened, well, I'm going to say nationwide over last weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, big speak kudos to them. Their, their administration and event organizers have done a great job creating an atmosphere where we can celebrate high school football. That's American institution. It is. Trips to the bottom, one split to the top, first and 10, 47 yard line. Hands it off right hand side, looking for some room. Gets hit. Tackled in the backfield. Number 42, Ben Quinlan. Second down and 14. I guess they're going to put it at 13. Finds a seam right up the middle. He's going to pick up two. That'll bring up third and 11 for Bixby. Four minutes, 35 seconds left to go. Jet sweep to the boundary. Cuts back inside. He's going to be short by about a yard. It'll be a fourth and one. Three minutes, 49 seconds left to go in the game. it off left hand side gets hit no Dang. good denied cats get the ball back first and 10 at the 44. tate beam on the stop again tate's having the second half of football so yeah. far so they'll push him to the 45 first and 10 for the cats 303 to go There's a snap. Option to the short side of the field. Yeah. 
So second down and eight for the Cats. Trips to the bottom, one split to the top for the Cats, second down. Snap, fakes the handoff, cross the middle. Pass intended for number two for the Cats. That's Lee Allen, incomplete. Donald, throughout the course of this game, we've had some people kind of get beat up. I'm looking over the sideline and yeah. see some people on crutches. And that's what happens you play a good team. And uh, you do get beat up physically. And that's one thing that the break will help you with. Everybody get healthy again and go back to the old drawing board. Yeah. Sweep to the bottom, looking for some room. That's Trey Serrano. He's got some wheels. Crosses the 30, steps back inside to the 25 out of bounds. The 23. One minute 35 to go. Cat's not quite done yet. Hands it off to Lee Allen, right hand side. He's got a little bit of room. I thought he was going to pop out of that. He did. He's going to get to the 15. Second down and one. 108 to go. Makes the handoff. Oh, got to throw it. He's going to be dropped for a big loss. It looks like about seven. Takes a handoff. Has to climb the pocket. He's on the run. He's going to pick up three. Going to bring up fourth down and six. That might do it. 15 seconds left to go. Maybe one more play. 10 seconds. There's the snap. Looking left. Goes across the middle. Incomplete. And they're going to let that run out. 75 to 18. Cats fall to Bixby Spartans. That's um, that's a big, that's a big loss for the Cats. Yeah, uh, you know, and hey, uh, Coach McGovern from Bixby was kind enough to show a little bit of mercy and pull his starters there after the half. So, uh, you know that. <laughs> That helped a little bit, but you know, hey, kind of rattled around, found some positive things. Sure. Some some kids stepped up, and you know, you got to focus on on the positives, uh, right? Because I mean, let's get real. There's a million things we can talk about on the negative here, but hey, it's over with now. You got to move on. And guess what? You got to get ready for your third week, your third opponent of the season. Yep. yep. You only get ten opponents, so you might as well make number three count. So what's the what happens? You know, Monday or Tuesday at practice? Do you just completely forget about this do you even are you even looking at film what's the i mean what happens um going into a bye week that you know the, these guys can kind of get prepared for after a game like tonight yeah most time you go into a bye week early in the season you kind of reset yourself you've come out of fall camp you've had some competition against some other good opponents so by that point in time you really have identified what it is where your weaknesses are right. so really the bye week while you have to keep your preparation in mind for your upcoming opponent, you really spend more time working on self. Right. Okay, so coaches will go back and they'll do a self scout. Like, what tendencies are we showing? And um, uh, at the same time, you kind of identify, hey, we're pretty good at this. We thought we would be good at this, but we're not any good at this. So let's chunk this, okay? Right. We're not ready for it. And so you identify who you are a little bit faster. Uh, at this point in time, some kids have kind of stepped up. Hey, we need to get this guy some more reps. Mm -hmm. We need to see this guy a little bit more. So, you, you, you know your team now. You, uh, you know, even though we're only done with game two. But we've, been, we've had our back up against the wall two weeks in a row. Uh, people have either stepped up and shined up, or they've kind of mellowed and got hidden in the masses. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us tonight. Tough loss for the Cats.
They've got a bye week next week and then Mustang after that at home. Appreciate you sticking with us here on Springdale Athletic Foundation Television. We'll see you in two weeks from tonight.